Hey everyone, all the geology lovers, rock hounds, crystal hunters out there. Just wanted to show you this resource today. This is Mindat, mindat.org. And check this out. I'm going across the menu here. This is what's available. It's all information about things like minerals. So I clicked on the minerals. And as you can see, there's information about the mineral. And you can click on it and look at the pictures. This is a nice shot of wolfenite. And some pretty detailed images of the mineral and where they're from. So I'll click on that and see this map opens up. So the website actually has a map. You can zoom out here and just see where you're at. <clears throat> so yeah, so you can even get the coordinates there. Then if you could plan a trip to go there, if it is public lands, that could be a spot you could plan See, it's designated here. You can see there's a lot of public lands around it. That's a little a little unsure. The wilderness boundary is there, so maybe not that one per se. Um, but you can click on those regions. You can click on the, the mine itself and get more information. Um, let me zoom out here. But you can see that if you were on one that was within, like I said, public land boundaries, you might map it out elsewhere, too. You can get some images down here, kind of get an idea. That does look like it's probably not publicly available, but you get the lat long, put it in your map. And then if you scroll down here on all of them, see, you'll see a list of minerals that you're likely to find. So if you're looking for anything particular, you could find that here. Here's the whole mineral list. And then you can click on all of these and get information about these minerals. So... It's a pretty cool, pretty extensive website. So if you don't already know about it, I just wanted to kind of show you what's available here. So let's click on this one and go in here and see quartz. So pretty common quartz, but so now is a page that's just on quartz. So this is information about quartz specifically. Look at this, all your mineral information, like in the guidebook I told you to get. Um, you can also get that here. Um, pictures, all the different varieties. Uh, structural information pretty detailed so you could learn all about this mineral here uh literally like just tons of information on these pages and references um just scroll down and kind of show you so you can see how extensive it is uh, obviously quartz is going to have a lot of information they might but i mean most of them are pretty detailed too so it's uh it's pretty great let me scroll down here look at this this is always cool so here you can really understand the crystals um, for the specific crystal shape, which quartz has several different ones. So you could click through that. Um, but it's cool because you can move these around, right? So I can just kind of look at that. Isn't that cool? I can zoom in and out. and That's the whole structure. So yeah, if you really want to get to know these crystal structures, that's possible. But if you don't want to go that deep, just want some basic uh, information. It's it's here. So as you can see, this is again pretty pretty cool website if you're into crystals and rock hounding. Definitely check it out. Um, let me see here. I'm going over to this menu. Just there's just so many things. I can't. I mean, I can't really show everything on this side. Definitely just check it out. Scroll around and see what you can find. I'm going to go back to the homepage here. Now see, here's something else, localities on the menu. I'll click into localities here and look. So this is going to list, look at that, 419,000 localities are on this website. So these are all the localities in alphabetical order. And then, yeah, so you can just scroll down here. Tons of locations. There's even Mars. <laughs> um, I.O. So, yeah, uh, lots of localities. Let's see. Um, uh, where? There it is, USA. So I'll go to the U.S. here. Yeah, 177,000 entries there. So let's click into USA. <clears throat> so that's where I am now. And, um... And then, yeah, if I click on that, you would be drilling into that locality. And then from there, you can continue to drill down like where we just were. 
Um, when we were on that Arizona mine, I could, you know, keep clicking in. So, okay, here, let's try another thing here. So another thing you could do is just search. So instead I could just like this, like Arizona, um, well, let's see, try Wolf and I from Arizona. It's coming up there, but Arizona as you write. Let's say I wanted to see if I could rock hound as you write in Arizona. That's like one way that I could maybe do it and search. And then it'll show me what's available on the website here. Um, so it came up with a couple of different entries. Um, let's see here. Scroll down. Yeah, so here's a couple different possibilities. Um, and yeah, there you go. There's that location map again. So this is, again, yeah, see Arizona. I can click on that now and it'll bring me back out to Arizona in general. So look at that. Isn't that cool? So if you get to the map of, say, the state, then you have these. You can zoom in, and it'll just keep fanning out all of these locations that are in the MinDat database. So um, you can see examples of mines, uh, mining districts, prospects. Um, kind of get an idea, you know, if it's a mining claim or if there's just, like, Maybe just it's marked in here. Uh, let me zoom back out. That one I can see is in this wilderness area. So that should be a public land locality. So it might be a spot where there's some tailing piles. Not really too much listed there. But you get the idea, right? So like you could possibly go there and look around. And there might be some cool old head frames or mines to explore if you want to explore mines um, but there's also sometimes just like old minerals in the washes and in the tailing piles I'm just kind of looking around here I'm just playing just to maybe show you this is close to a wilderness boundary so not that says it's on a ranch I wouldn't uh I wouldn't go on a ranch that wouldn't be a good idea so yeah Let's zoom back out here. Um, what else? Let's see if I can... That's pretty close to the boundary. Santa Maria Uranium Prospect. Interesting. There you go if you want to collect radioactive minerals. Again, like I said, just pay attention to the boundaries. Because if it's on private property, you don't want to go on there. But, um, but they aren't. Some of them are... Like old mines. Um, some of them, like I said, are active mining prospects. Yeah, so there you go. Just a quick look at the Mindat as a resource for those of you into min looking at minerals and rocks and crystal hunting. Minerals, rocks, localities. Those would be like the three main tabs on the home page that are probably going to be most helpful. You can just click into the minerals, start looking for your favorites or finding new ones. Happy rock hunting. <laughs>